Hello, this is going to be the presentation of uh, the server configuration. Uh, so, I downloaded the source, not the source code, the, the binary files of the server. Uh, they look like this uh, without this directory. This is generated uh, as temporary holding for all the web, web applications that are run on the server. So, uh, how I configured the server? Um, first, I went to this directory here in the Catalina policy files. Let's open with Note that Plus Plus. So, I have to grant some permissions for the files for the servlet to write to my server and to do that I had to add uh, this line here so grant whatever uh, if it's not code base if I don't specify what file I actually grant this permissions is gonna grant it to all so I granted uh, java.io.file permissions to be executed on the files in the root directory and the save I have the games.xml file to be saved here and I also have a DLL somewhere on there uh, and then I try to grant per security permissions, all permissions to be able to write on my files but I think that's not really an okay thing to grant permissions to everything to do whatever they wish uh, so as I said my policy files uh, that's about it now the web.xml document here uh, this specifies what qualify as in the uh, as welcome pages in the website uh, it has here as a default index xml htm uh, JSP, HTML and HTM. Uh, I can add whatever I wish there also and uh, I have some configurations that I don't really know what they do um, yes to deploy my application I did this automatically but the, to deploy an application I have to specify it here in the context because the context for the Tomcat server is what is an actual application so this is the path on my disk to find the particular web application it finds it in web temporary web apps um, the path to it, meaning the path that I input in my browser will be a relative path to the path of the server, uh, meaning that whatever path my server has, if I also put this at the end, it's gonna run the web application. Uh, reloadable true. Yeah, just some default properties. Uh, and also if you remember from the servlet introduction if I do this uh, this is gonna take me to the servlet but the servlet is not configured to give a response to let's say Firefox accessing it so if I do that it's just gonna blank out um, Let me see here. Um, now to 
restart the server. Oh, and in this XML uh, server XML, uh, I also specified the ports and the ports that the server runs on, and uh, the local address name, meaning local local host. Uh, okay, in this context file, I think uh, something about I can configure more about the applications, but for whatever uh, web application I have, it knows to go into the web dot web in folder and read the web XML specific uh, specific for the resource itself. The web XML is usually generated automatically. For instance, by Eclipse, uh, the program that I wrote the servlet in. Now let's see what more configurations. Oh yeah, the Tomcat users. I can specify users here to deploy the applications on the go or from a distance, but I don't really have to use this file. Um, okay. So here in the directory web apps, we have this root directory and in it I have placed the casino but the deployment of online casino is not done from here it's done from the WTP web apps not from the web apps and here I have the safe the game safe XML that I managed once to upload but um, doesn't work as well as intended. Uh, the servlet application, the servlet uh, is very well integrated with Eclipse. So, if I'm just gonna start Eclipse now. This version of Eclipse is actually Eclipse EE because the servlets run Java are run on or developed on Java Enterprise Edition. And the Enterprise Edition is spe specialized in this uh, servlets and JSP and J Java servlet faces and Java beans. I don't use Java beans, but I wanted to use Java servlet pages. Um, Sometime this year, Eclipse is gonna load.